Hi everybody, we're playing Warframe and today we're going to take a look at the Prime Grinding. So there's a bunch of new Prime Warframes that are available and uh, this is how to get your hands on them. So on the right here I've got a little chart that I've put together uh, from information I've gathered from the Warframe wiki. So you can see on the left there's uh, the main new Warframes, so Garuda Prime, which is probably the main one. We've also got Nidus Prime, Harrow Prime, Gara Prime. Octavia Prime, Inneris Prime and Neza Prime. So they're all there on the left and I've listed all the relics that are required to uh, find these parts. Now in the middle section I've listed all the locations where you can farm these relics. So there's plenty of locations but I've listed six of the main locations across the top there. Uh, so we've got Io on Jupiter, Uko on the Void, Terrarum in Deimos, Azor and Uranus, Hif in Deimos, and Hepet in the Void. So there's six of the main locations that I've found uh, where you can farm these uh, these relics. And these relics will drop the parts that you need for the new Prime Warframes. So the other thing that's interesting from this map is uh, that there's two main locations that will drop all of the parts. Uh, and those two locations are Uko in the Void and Terrarim in Deimos. Those two locations alone will drop all of the parts that you need uh, for all of these Warframes, if you can see that. Uh, the other thing to note is that um, I've listed the rotations where these parts drop. So some of them drop on rotation A, and some of them on B, and some of them on C. So Terrarum Deimos, for instance, it's a survival mission that I'm playing here, and um, it will drop some parts on rotation C which is a 20 minute survival. Rotation B is a 15 minute survival and Rotation A is a 10 minute survival. So I hope that helps you in uh, gathering the relics that you need. Um, this chart was uh, correct and accurate as of the time of the posting which is in May 2022. Um, so you may want to just check the Warframe wiki and make sure that these relics are still available because sometimes the relics do get vaulted. Uh, so in later episodes I'll go through um, some of these locations in more detail and also go through the relic cracking process uh, and rad sharing and stuff like that. So I hope you like this episode guys. Click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.